Okay, let's take question number 39. Let b i greater than 1 for all i 1, 2, 3 up to 101. Suppose log b1, log b2, etc. These are in AP with common difference log 2. A1, A2, A3 are also in AP such that A1 equals B1, A51 equals B51. If T equals B1 plus B2 up to B51 and S equals A1 plus A2 up to A51, then which of the following is correct? Let's start it. Suppose A1 equals B1 equals say A. Now, a51 equals b51 given to me. Meaning that a51 that is a plus 50 say d is the common difference equals. Since log b1, log b2 etc. these are in AP. So clearly b1, b2, b3 are in GP with common ratio 2. So b51 can be written as b1 into 2 to the power 50 b1 meaning a so this is equal to a into 2 to the power 50 this is clear okay t that is sum of 51 terms of series b t equals b1 plus b2 up to b51 that is b1 meaning a into this is in GP with common ratio 2. So it is 2 raised to the power 51 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. S that is A1 plus A2 up to A51. So this is 51 by 2 A1 plus A51 or 51 by 2 A plus a51 is same as b51 and b51 is a into 2 to the power 50. So this is 51 by 2 a 2 raised to the power 50 plus 1. Now we can see that t which is a into 2 raised to the power 51 minus 1 while s is a into 51 by 2 multiplied with 2 to the power 50 plus 1. Clearly, S is greater than T. So, from the four options, either A or B is correct. C and D are clearly not possible. We also have to talk about A101 and B101. So, let us find out this ratio. Since all Bs are positive, so we can try to find this ratio A101 upon B101. A101 meaning A plus 100D divided by B101 meaning A that is B1 that is simply A into 2 raised to the power 100. For D we can choose this one D is A into 2 to the power 50 minus A divided by 50. So, we can write here equals a plus 100 times for d we are writing a into 2 to the power 50 minus a upon 50 whole divided with a into 2 raised to the power 100. So, we can see here a is cancelled out we are left with 1 plus 2 raised to the power 50 into 2 minus 2 divided by 2 raised to the power 100. So clearly this is 2 raised to the power 51 minus 1 upon 2 raised to the power 100. We can see this term is clearly less than 1. So here we obtain a to the power a101 is less than b101. Hence from the options, option b is the correct one. Therefore, B is correct. So, this is clear. Okay, let us move to the next question of this paper. Okay, let us take the next one that is question number 40. 
the value of integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x upon 1 plus e to the power x dx is. So, simple one from calculus that is the definite integral. So, let us consider i equals minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x divided by 1 plus e x dx. On applying a plus b minus x property, we get minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x divided by 1 plus e to the power minus x dx. This can be written 1 upon e x taking LCM this e x goes to numerator. We simply write minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 e x x square cos x divided by 1 plus e x dx. Simply adding these two equations say 1 and 2, we get 2 i equals minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x square cos x dx, 1 plus e x is cancelled. Now, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this term, this is even function, so we can write twice. So, we have 2 i equals twice of 0 to pi by 2 x square cos x dx. Simplifying i comes x square into sin x minus 2 x into minus cos x plus 2 into minus sin x under the limit 0 to pi by 2. Substituting limit 0 to pi by 2 say for the first one, when we put here pi by 2 we get pi square by 4 on substituting 0 it is 0 plus twice of whether we substitute pi by 2 or 0 this term becomes 0 minus twice of when we put pi by 2 this gives me 1. So, simply we obtain the result as pi square by 4 minus 2. So, from the given options we can see option A is the correct one. Therefore, option A is correct. So, this is clear. Okay, let us move to the next one.